Hey everyone, it's Kelsey from Hungry Crafty Kelsey. So today I'm going to come to you with a little video on um, showing you this Chandler Tool embossing heat gun. Because I had previously bought the Chandler Tool mini glue gun, which I absolutely loved. And I bought the big one, which I loved as well. Because they both are very sturdy and they stand up. And they also have a, another stand-up feature where you can take off the base and they will stand up really well um, on this metal piece. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some heat embossing and I'm going to use some of my embossing powder. I have some gold and I have platinum um, embossing powder over here as well as my Versamark and my embossing little buddy bag in there so what I'm going to do I am using two stamps that I got from this company they do like custom stamps and um, I was able my daughter's name is Emmy I was able to get a stamp that says to Emmy and love Santa Claus so with um, Christmas coming up I'm going to make her Christmas tags saying to Emmy love Santa Claus and of course it will be different handwriting than my handwriting <laughs> so when she gets older she will always have that consistent writing so I am going to open up my package and we will get started and I have to say a lot of the time Great embossing really depends on how well you apply the powder. So hopefully I do it pretty well. <laughs> oh, I'm getting it stuck on me. Okay, so so far it looks like it has a decently long cord, which is great. So I'm going to untie that. Sometimes I have, a, I have a plug that is too far away from my desk. And it also, again, has one of these um, stands. I gotta see, I wanna make sure I put it on the right way. So I'm gonna see how it looks if I put it on this way. There's probably directions in there just telling me how to do it. No, I think it goes the other way. <laughs> but. I apparently don't like to read directions, so. <laughs> okay. So, okay, this plastic piece stays on, so you can avoid contact with the metal, which is a great thing. Oh. I think I put it on the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just like super horrible at this, apparently. <laughs> okay, so it's supposed to fold like that and stay up like that. Perfect! It's very sturdy, so that's great. A lot of, a lot of the times, ugh, I can't speak, I will get a product and this will not stay up. And this seems to stay up pretty well. So... It took a lot of force for me to make it bend that way. So if you're just normal use, it will stay up just like that. Perfect. So I'm gonna plug it in and we will get started. Okay. So it has two settings. It has a low setting and a higher setting. So I'll start off with the low setting because just to see how it <laughs> works. So I actually haven't used these stamps before. So we'll see how well the embossing comes out. A lot of times they say to use Versamark um, to get your stamp really going. So hopefully this will be okay. So I take my embossing buddy and 
I just rub it over my paper. That way the, the powder doesn't cling to everything. Okay. So I'm just going to put that right there. Make sure I have a good impression. And I think I'm going to go with the liquid platinum. I need to get one of those embossing trays. I do not have one, but I really would love one. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush away the couple little things that are around. I'll put the cover on my first mark so I'm not blowing on it. And I'll put this off to the side so I can put that back into my embossing powder. I'm like dropping things all over the place. And now I will use the low setting to do this. Let's see how it goes. By the way, that stamp stamped out very well. Okay, so I think it's all done. And if you look at that, look at that. And that was just on the low setting. So if you use a high setting, it probably will do it a little quicker. But I don't know if you'll want to because you may heat your paper too much and it may wrink it, make it wrinkly. <laughs> but look how beautiful that is. Let me just try the high setting and we'll see how that works. And I'm gonna use probably the gold uh, embossing powder with that. So I'll just do that. And I'm gonna do I love Santa Claus. Okay, just make sure that it's nice on the paper. And let's see, where's my gold? Right here. I think this is more of a sparkly one. I don't remember, but I think it is. And of course, this one has um, smaller fonts, so it's not as clear. I probably need a finer embossing powder, but we're not doing a review on the embossing powder. We're doing a review on the heat gun to see how well it works on embossing. So now I'm going to use the high setting.
So yeah, that did do it a lot faster. And if you see that, so I didn't apply the <laughs> the um, gold powder that well, but it does look kind of cool and vintagey though. So that is pretty cool. <laughs> so I do really like this heat gun so far. With um, the high heat was much faster and. It did do it pretty well and I didn't wrinkle my paper so you can see how fast it was compared to the low temperature so I so far I would definitely recommend this I have used um, a heat gun from Joanne fabrics I don't remember the brand it was a purple one though and I have used the uh, Harbor Freight heat gun on low setting and the Harbor Freight one is definitely too hot of a heat gun to do heat embossing <laughs> so if you're on the market for an embossing tool this is a great heat gun um, and of course I'm using my Tim Holtz matte mixed media matte that um, has the heat resistant parts if you are on the market for some new glue guns, these are definitely great glue guns. So I highly recommend these as well. And if you need a custom stamp, I'm not like endorsed by Stamp Out Online, but <laughs> this is the company um, that I got my stamps from. And they even have a $5 off coupon for you to use until December 30th of 2018. So Chandler Tool, they, you can find them on Amazon, okay? So I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you and showed you how to use that heat gun. And if you need a tutorial on me using the mini glue gun or the big glue gun, just let me know. And have a great day. Bye.